you're considering applying, I'd say absolutely do it. I don't know what came over me and just decided to go for it. What I realized at the time was the only way to ensure that I don't get in is to not apply. For five years, I kind of became obsessed with you know, checking in on the program, seeing the types of students they were admitting, and finally had the courage to apply and I was lucky enough to get in. I think a lot of people would say like, going to MIT, it's kind of intimidating before you get there. And then coming to a community where I was like, wow, I, I really belong. This is an amazing, amazing community. On paper, it's a dual degree program here at MIT. You're studying engineering, business, and merging those two to think about how do you do technical leadership at companies of all sizes. But beyond that, it's a really special community, and you get to be a part of really great people across all sorts of disciplines and with all sorts of interests. We all kind of share a subset of, of core values that carries through the program. We all love working in teams. All of us are passionate about leadership, whether that's you know leading people or leading in some other capacity. Be a strong communicator, um, but also be interested enough in the technical side that you want to you know not just take a regular MBA. With any engineering program, you worry maybe a little bit that there won't be as many women. I was super happy to see that we are almost 50-50 in the class, and so that's really meaningful to me to see that. The whole community has been extremely supportive of us internationals. I've never felt that I'm not part of the community. The LG have put their money where their mouth is. They said, we want to focus on DEI, and as a result, like I came to the class, and other people came to the class, but not only that, they were fully supported as a result. When you not only support financial needs, but also support like cultural needs, I do think that helped a lot. The admissions team, they're very holistic in how they review your application. So if you didn't do as well in your GMAT or GRE, don't stress out. You're not defined by a grade on a test. You have experience, you have your CV, you have your introductory video. They want to get to know you for who you are. When people go for it and demonstrate their interest in this program specifically, LGO really responds to that. We love hearing from students. That's the thing about being in such a tight program. We feel connected not just to our cohort, but also to past and future cohorts. So I think you can get the best advice just by reaching out to current students. I was the number one person shocked to say like, I got into LGO. Put more faith in yourself than you think you have. You've probably accomplished more than you are thinking about right now. You have a lot to give to your classmates as well in terms of people learning from you and what you can teach them. And so don't shortchange yourself. Don't think that MIT is not for you because it definitely can be. I really am a big believer that you can accomplish uh, what you set out to do, um, you know, through hard work um, and, and getting out there. Take the leap, definitely do it. You belong here. I'm kind of forever grateful that I was chosen to be in this class.